In this tutorial, we are going to change the default cart icon in the Divi menu to a more minimalistic and stylish one. We are going to add a circle background, like a bubble, to the cart quantity number, and we are going to make it overlap the cart icon in a nice way. Let's go! You'll find all the links and resources needed in this blog post on divmundo.com. And if you're watching this directly on YouTube, you'll find the link in the description below. So the first step is to remove the word item or items that is displayed after the card quantity number. So we have a link here to another tutorial, remove items text beside the Divi card. So let's click that one. So my preferred method to do this is to use a free plugin called Say What. So let's go to the WordPress dashboard, plugins, and click add new. And let's search for Say What. So it's this one with the cute sheep here. So let's click install now. And as you can see, it has four and a half stars. Updated two months ago, over 30,000 active installations. So this is a trustworthy plugin that I've used on many websites. So let's click activate. And now you can head over to tools and text changes, because we are going to change the text items to, well, nothing. So you can click add new in the top. And now we go back to the blog post to find the different strings that we're going to add here. So for the first row, we will add this one, starts with a percentage and ends with items. That's the original string, the number of items. And the text domain is Divi. The text context is uh, WooCommerce items number. And we will replace that with just the cart quantity number and we'll click add. Now we just have to do this one more time because this will uh, hide uh, the word items like zero items or two items. But we also need to hide the word item like in uh, one item. So if we scroll down, we can copy this original, original string. And I'll click add new and we'll add it here. It's the same as before, but it says item, not items. And the rest is the same as before. It's text domain Divi. It's text content, uh, sorry, text context WooCommerce items number. So you should actu actually keep the S there in items. And we should only display the card quantity number and we click add. So if we preview this in front end, you can see that we now just have the cart and the cart quantity number and not the word items after. So the next step, we are going to add the bubble, the circle background to the cart quantity number and make it overlap this cart icon. So I'll start by going to my WordPress dashboard, Divi and theme builder. And now I will go back to the first blog post. So we have done step one and step two. We go to the Divi theme builder and edit the header template. So let's do that. I go to my global header and I will edit the menu module by clicking the cogwheel. From here, I'll go to the design tab and I'll go to the icons tab and here we can change the shopping cart icon and uh, in this tutorial i will use a dark gray color 333 i think that looks nice and let's also change the shopping cart size i think it's a bit small let's see what number i used here in the blog post 25 pixels so let's increase it to 25 yeah and as you can see, it says items here, but that's just in the theme builder. When you look at it in front end, this text will be hidden. So don't worry, everything is as it should be. 
So now let's change the size of this number here, the card quantity number. So I go to the card quantity text tab and I'll change the font to Poppins. You can of course use the font of your choice. I'll make it bold and I'll have 11 pixels because this needs to be quite small to fit in my little bubble. So I will save here and I will exit. Ah, sorry, one more thing. Uh, let's close this one. We want to have this item's number white because we are going to use a colored background. So let's go back to the menu settings, design, card quantity text and make it white. And now since it's on a white background, you cannot see it at all, but we'll fix that in a minute. So let's exit, save. And I'll just click this save button again. Just a good habit. So if we preview this in front end, it will look like this to just see the cart. But if I highlight here, you can see that there's a small number here and it's actually one product in the cart because I added one product before uh, when I was playing around. So the next step is to add a CSS snippet to add our uh, circle background and uh, some color and some um, styling. So I'll copy this entire snippet by clicking the squares and I'll go back to my WordPress dashboard and I'll go to DV theme customizer. And from here, I'll go to additional CSS and I'll paste my snippet. And as you can see, we have a nice bubble there with the card quantity number and um, let's see here we can zoom it a little bit uh, you can see here that we have a purple circle background the number is white and it's pretty small and bold and we also have a nice thin white border here that's added in the css and it's also overlapping the cart. If you don't see this, don't panic. Just click this uh, site logo to refresh the start page and it should appear. Okay, you can do some changes here. Maybe you want to change the background color. So that's the color of this bubble. We can change that to maybe pink. Yeah, we have to remove this hash to make it pink. And I will just refresh to make it visible. There we go. Or another hex code, of course. Border radius you can keep to 50%, so it will be round. You also have this white border around it. If you don't like that, we can just remove it. And if you refresh, you can see the full circle now without the border. But I kind of like the border, so I will just add it again. There we have it. You can change the height and the width of this circle. So maybe I can make it... 30 times 30. You want to have the same height and width in order to have it round. So there we have a really big one. And uh, this code display flex and align items and justify items. That is just to make the number here in center. So I don't think you should uh, play around with that if you're not entirely sure of what you are doing. Then you can change the position of this bubble. So let's take this back to maybe 20 times 20 and refresh by clicking the site logo. So if you want to have this in another location, you can do that by changing the margin left and the margin top. So maybe I want to have it, let's say margin top 11 and margin left 11 and I'll refresh. What the? Oh, that looks bad. You can even remove this entirely and then it will be just positioned to the right of the cart. So that could also be a nice design to have it like that. Uh, we can put that back. And we can have 22 and 22. Strange, sometimes it adheres what I do here in the custom CSS and sometimes I have to refresh the page. I'm not sure why, but that's just how it is. If I want to have this one in the bottom of the icon instead of the top, I can just change margin top to margin bottom. And now it's located in the bottom instead. And now I can just fine tune this number. Maybe I want to have it a little bit higher up. Then I can just set maybe minus 16 instead. And that's a little bit higher up. And if I want to have it on the left side, I can just increase the margin left to maybe 36 or maybe 
42. And of course, this works both for mobile and desktop. So that's pretty much it. Just a word of advice. Uh, make sure that you can have two numbers in this little circle here, because if your um, customers put maybe 10 or more products in the cart, you want that to fit as well. So you can try to put more objects there, or you can actually right click here, inspect in the Chrome inspector. And uh, let's see, here we have it, the ETPB menu cart count, and it's one. If I change that to 11, hit enter, you can see how it looks in front end. So make sure to try that out if you think that your customers might add more than 10 products in your cart. I think it would be pretty rare that someone adds more than 99 products. So that will not look perfect. But you can play around with the size of the circle and the font size for this card quantity text to make that fit as well. That's all for today. Feel free to like and comment this video if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials coming your way. Thanks for watching.